Merry Christmas and welcome to Good Shepherd Chapel. My name is Mother Kelly. Merry, Merry Christmas. The day we have waited for all through the season of Advent is finally here. Christmas Day, the day we celebrate that Jesus was born, that the light of Christ has come into the world. We're going to hear very soon how the story of Jesus' birth is told to us in the Holy Bible. But first, let's open with a song, and I'm going to light all the candles on the Advent wreath, as well as the Jesus candle in the middle. Sing this song with me. You may not know all the words, but you can learn this word today, Gloria. And we sing it with a lot of different notes, so do your best to follow along. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strains. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Try those glorious with me again. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Oh, a Jesus candle right in the middle tells us it is Christmas Day, the first day of Christmas. There are 12 days. Let's continue our chapel time together. Remember, there are words you say, words I say, words we say together. Your next words will be, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Try that. I'll begin. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Together, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Well, the season of Advent is over, and so if you've noticed too, I've changed the color from purple, the color of preparation to the color white, the color of celebration. We know about Jesus' birth from the Holy Bible. Now when we hear the account, you're going to hear a word, registered. It means that the people in Jesus' time had to be counted. They each had to return to the place where they were born. So listen for the name of the little town where Joseph was born. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, to this, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. What did you hear? Did you hear the name of the little town? Bethlehem. Did you hear where Mary put the baby when Jesus was born. Did he have a crib? Listen to the end again. 
and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. A manger. That's a place where you put hay so animals can eat. Animals eat hay. What kind of child is this who is placed in a manger? His first crib, his first bed is a manger. Here is a scene of, here is a picture of what this scene might have looked like with Mary and Joseph and the baby. They are people who are dressed up like Mary and Joseph. Someone's baby is even dressed up, wrapped in cloth, spans of cloth, like Jesus might have been wrapped. Can you see the hay? He's in a manger. How Mary and Joseph must have loved this baby. Happy birthday, Jesus. Well, people all around the world are celebrating Christmas today. Would you like to see some pictures? In this first picture, you can see some children in Africa. They are in their church, and they are dressed in their best dresses and skirts. And it looks like they're doing some dancing to celebrate Jesus' birthday. In the next picture, we see some more children, probably from a country in Africa. And they look like they are holding a present Children give presents and receive presents all around the world. So today, many, many children are receiving presents and giving them. <laughs> and in the next picture, we see some people in Pakistan. And they are in church. It looks like they're singing, praying. The women are wearing veils. Their heads are covered. That's the style in Pakistan. They look so beautiful, don't they? They look a little bit like Mary. I wonder what we can say to God about all of this today. What would you like to tell God today? One way we can respond, and we often do in Good Shepherd Chapel, is with a song. We can say thank you to God by singing, right? You may know this song. I've got some hand actions also. Hopefully I can show them to you on the screen. Away in a manger, no crib for his bed, the little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. We do this for little. And this is the sign for Jesus. Touch a finger to our palm like Jesus. Should we try it again? Away in a manger, no crib for his bed, the little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus Asleep on the hay. Let's continue. Your next words will be, and also with you. You ready? The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The lights are so beautiful, aren't they? Thank you, God, for coming into the world through your son, Jesus. I wonder if you have any thank yous today. Thanks be to God. Any other thanksgivings? Is there someone, some people you are thankful for? Maybe you're with those people right now. I wonder if there are people we can pray for today. Is there anybody you'd like to pray for? Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Anybody else we can pray for? Anyone you know who might be traveling? Maybe you are getting ready to travel. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now you say, thanks be to God. All right, here I go. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, here's another song that might be familiar to you. And um, here are some hand actions to it. So the, the hardest one might be this for, for night. You're going to make a little mountain and then the shape of a crescent moon, a moon over the mountain. So it'll look like this, night. Okay. Holy is with two fingers like this. You're going to make a circle like that. <laughs> yeah. Let's give it a try. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin. Virgin is a V, my fingers. Virgin. Mother and child, holy infant so tender. Do tender this way. Tender and mild. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly Peace. Should we try it again? Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round your virgin mother and child. Holy infant, so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Merry Christmas. I'll see you next time. God bless you.